Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. And today's video is Mia Konjo. And if you've never heard about them, they had a stall in Shirakia in the Village Walk in Ala Moana, but after COVID, their stall closed for some reason. And I'm not sure if they're gonna reopen it, but they opened another location in the Kalihi Kai Industrial Area on Hoi Street. Um, they're right actually on the corner of Hoi and Mokuea Street, if you're wondering. So we're gonna check them out today. Um, they're famous for their chicken nanban. And if you didn't know what chicken nanban is, it's pretty much a fried piece of uh, chicken tender with a special dipping sauce. And thank you everybody about the numerous feedback and comments about my background. I really appreciate it and appreciate your support. It actually makes it much easier that you guys like the simple background because I really don't, I'm not gonna change my house for this. But um, yeah, I don't think it's uh, people trolling or being mean. It's just uh, constructive criticism and I'll take it. And I, I just tried something new and it's good to always try something new, but yeah, it didn't work for me. It's too much to set up. And even though it's just a green sheet, it actually took more than 12 hours to export the video. And that's not, in, if you're not into video and you don't know, that's just exporting it into a file and that's not even uploading it to YouTube. So. Uh, that's way too much work and it took forever. So I'm glad you like the background. Today I'm in my car at Sun Island Rec Park. It's not the greatest place, um, but the reason being is the restaurant is near Sun Island and I wanted to eat my chicken fresh and crispy. Um, I wouldn't recommend going here if you're not from here. It's not, it's got some shady characters here, but it's got a beautiful view and you can't beat that. So take a look at this of uh, Aloha Tower facing the other way southbound so hopefully you enjoy this view even though it's a rainy cloudy day and hopefully this car uh, video isn't too dark because it is a cloudy rainy day and it's not too bright out so we'll get into the food so we'll dig in and um, this is pretty much the plate But this is the chicken nanban. It's a crispy piece of chicken. It looks like you get about five pieces, a nice salad, rice, and the dipping sauce. So for the sauce, you can choose either mild or spicy. I asked him if it was really spicy, um, and he said it's pretty much a sriracha spicy. So I can handle that. We'll give it a dip in this dipping sauce. Mmm. I've never had this before, but it's delicious. It's not totally crunchy because they also soak it in a soy uh, marinade as well. So kind of like how garlic chicken or uh, mochiko chicken might be. But this sauce is very interesting. So I did some research. I've never had it before. Chicken nanban is from Japan. It's, uh, but nanban kind of means uh, like a foreign trade the actual word so what it means is the sauce is a little bit sour um, like a vinegar sour with a little bit of creaminess and that's where the people that traded with Japan most likely the Portuguese gave them this dipping sauce which is foreign to them but they enjoy it so the vinegar part is probably from the Portuguese sailors that um, would explore and go around the world during those times and they traded different um, spices and unique uh, food items with the Japanese and they turned this into nanban. So I'm going to take a dip into this rice. It's got um, the typical futakake on top. Cooked perfectly. Goes really well with this chicken nanban. You got to try this. I wouldn't think something creamy with um, something sour would work, but I guess if you think about it, it's almost like a fried fish with tartar sauce and lemon, that kind of sour. So it really works really well. And I like that they give a nice green fresh salad with this. It's mixed greens that are um, baby greens, arugula and baby lettuce, not the cheap stuff. So um, we'll take a dig into that and check out their dressing. Really nice dressing. Not sure if it's homemade or bottled, but 
it's a oriental type dressing with a sesame type taste um, more of that Japanese QP dressing that I like so if you're into that they give that kind of dressing there's no choice for dressing so really tasty I like the freshness it really cuts through the grease I think if you have mac salad it's a little bit too heavy with the fried items so the place only has two little stalls in the front so parking is kind of going to be an issue as always in Hawaii for the good spots but if you call it in you can just there's a place it's illegal but just have somebody wait there or if you want to just run in and grab your stuff it's a uh, fast in and out there's a kind of like a little spot right by the um, crosswalk stop sign area You're not supposed to do that but um, definitely call it in so you can just grab it and go and then you're out of there otherwise uh, those two spots were taken for some reason even though I was the only one there so it's kind of hard to find parking there also if you want to get only the chicken non bun because they sell other things um, it takes he said about 15 to 20 minutes to make so that way you can plan right when you call um, to drive there because it's gonna take a little while to do it they they cook it fresh made to order so it's not soggy or anything so these chicken chunks are boneless which is great very thick cuts of meat it's not dry inside it's very very tender easy to eat don't need don't even need a knife this is really delicious I've never had it before and very unique so for the chicken non bon plate the price for that is $9.55 if you're interested what I like about it too is when I called the guy on the phone Jacob he said he even introduced himself which is very nice uh, very friendly very cheery even in person and look they wrote this nice little message on it chicken non bun plate with spicy sauce and thank you with a smiley face get some personal local service here so even if you're not into the chicken non bun and you want to try something else even though they're famous for it so you should try it if you're not into that they have other bentos as well and um, this is the spicy pork bento and uh, I just wanted to show something else not just one item that they sell and these are a little cheaper if you're on a budget and um, let's try it out and if you're also in a hurry like I said the chicken non bond takes a while to make but these are faster to make so it looks like you know thin cuts of pork so we've got some green stuff on it looks like parsley with some chili flakes and a, on a big bed of rice it's very hot and fresh like it's just been made so that's a good thing rice is cooked perfectly nice and fluffy and it goes so well with this pork pork is sliced really thin so um, you're not wrangling with it it's not tough almost melt in your mouth it's not too spicy to me um, it's just got a perfect amount of spice and um, almost like a strong Japanese ginger taste this is a, a pretty good meal um, it's not fancy it doesn't have too many sides but it'll definitely fill you up for a quick lunch and it's in the Kalihikai area which is one exit away from the airport so if you're taking an early flight not too early but not too late they're only open nine to one but um, if you're leaving between them you can pick up some bentos to eat on the plane and like I said they don't do chicken nabe only they have tons of different other dishes mochiko chicken all that so here's what some pictures look like on their wall of their other dishes and their menu you can pause it if it's too fast for you to read the descriptions and the prices so for the spicy pork bento this costs $5.73 not bad of a deal so if you're interested they also sell musubis and other specials for the day like today was uh, fish john I believe and definitely give them a call before going so you know what the special of the day is because it changes daily so that's it guys for today that was Mia Konjo hopefully you found some interest in it I thought it was very interesting in terms of the history of the cuisine and the different types of tastes of Japanese cuisine that I never thought I would actually get to experience I mean I never even heard of the sour vinegary dip and it was absolutely delicious and if I were to choose 
um, between the bento and the chicken naan bun. I definitely get the chicken naan bun. It was um, just a different kind of taste that you wouldn't expect, but yet very delicious. And I like that they make it to order and it's not just sitting there under a hot lamp or something. It's definitely fresh food, very good service, and you're supporting a small local hole in the wall business. So definitely check them out if you're ever in the Kalihikai area and you're looking for something to grab for lunch. I'll put their hours in the description box below and their address. And as an extra bonus, um, for those who like nostalgia, there seems to be a lot of people that like that kind of stuff. I knew of this place for a while um, and I figure I just take some video of it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it shows some really old Hawaii. It's uh, a place off Mokawea right around the corner of Mia Konjo, so check it out. Um, even though it looks really old by the sign and the building's super old, um, I had a friend that said, I think in 2004, he used to eat there. So it wasn't, I mean, it doesn't sound that long ago, but it is quite a year, years back. But since 2004, you would think it's way back before that, that it closed. He used to walk across the street. Um, he used to work at a lumber store and eat lunch there. So it's still functioning today. I passed by and the lights are on. There's bright fluorescent lights that you can see from the top. And I believe it's a kitchen for a lunch wagon. So enjoy it. And hopefully you can go visit it if you're around. Just walk around and enjoy some of a piece of nostalgia from Kalihi. And I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe. Please press the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you again. Peace out.